Hi everyone, welcome to part three of solving exponential equations. And this time we're looking to exponential equations of different base. So how can I identify whether the equation is an equation of different base? So in this case in here, we have three to the power of x equals five to the power of x minus two. As you can see, we have two exponential terms, so one on each side of the equation. And the bases are different, so there are 3 and 5. So not only the bases are different, but you notice that we cannot express one base in terms of the other, or we cannot express both bases in terms of a common base. And that's when we say that the bases of these uh, terms in the exponential function are different. So we are solving for the variable x, and first locate where the unknown is. So the variable x is in the exponent. Since the variable x is in the exponent, then we are going to think, okay, so in order to solve for x, we need to isolate x. So when x is in the exponent, it's harder to have access to it, which means that we need to bring x outside of the power or the exponent. And the way we do this when solving such equations is by taking the logarithm of both sides of the equation. So we're going to write in here the logarithm of 3 to the power of x must equal the logarithm of 5 to the power of x minus 2. So at this point, we are going to apply what we call the power rule. And as you, if you remember, the power rule states that if we have log with base b of x to the power of r equals r, log with base b of x. So in other words, the power comes to the front of log and it becomes a coefficient. So in this case, the power x will come to the front of the log term. And then we have x log 3 equals, and this is the power for the other term. So the power is x minus 2. So this will come to the front, x minus 2 and then multiply this by log of 5. Now, obviously, because we have a, an exponent that came to the front as a coefficient now in binomial form, and we need to keep this in brackets. So I want to make sure that x minus 2 is inside round brackets here. Now, um, again, the next thing we think of is, OK, so I have x in here, which has a coefficient of log 3. Remember log 3, even though it looks like a fancy number, it's just a constant number. It's a constant a coefficient, a numerical coefficient. And we have x inside the brackets. So again, our goal is to isolate x. And since x is inside the brackets, to gain access to it, we need to remove it outside the bracket. And I want you to think, OK, so how do I remove something outside the brackets? Well, we expand. So by expanding the right side of the equation, now we have x log 3 equals x log 5 minus 2 log 5. So remember again, this is where our variable is located, so in two different terms. So in both terms, the variable will have a coefficient, a numerical coefficient in log form. So in order to isolate x, we are going to bring the x terms to one side of the equation. So obviously, this will come to the left, which means it will change the sign from positive to negative, so minus x log 5. And that would be equal to negative 2 log 5. So again, we're trying to isolate x and when the coefficients are in log form, what we do is we factor x out. So that means that the coefficient will be in the form log 3 minus log 5. And that's negative 2 log 5, which, by the way, if you wish, you can rewrite it as 5 to the power of negative 2. So we're trying to also simplify the answer. Now, in order to completely isolate x, we are dividing both sides by log 3 minus log 5. So another way of seeing log 3 minus log 5 is by using the quotient law, which we will soon do. And the reason I'm mentioning this step right now is because it's a step that you can take uh, right here. So you can, instead of writing log of 3 minus log of 5, 
you can rewrite this as log 3 divided by 5 okay so we are taking the steps a little bit more slowly here and uh, we have x all by itself now on the left side which e uh, uh, which equals uh, log of 5 to the negative 2 which is log of 1 over 25 over log of 3 over 5 so again we are combining this right because of the division right and here we have the power so the power of negative 2 is what brings the 25 or the 5 squared down here so this would be the exact answer in this case and if we want to find the approximate answer we just use the calculator to um, evaluate this log expression so in this case, I would say log of 1 over 25. That should be some very funny looking number because it's a, it's, a, it's a fraction. It's a number less than 1. It means the exponent or the log must be a negative number. So it is negative 1.39 divided by log of 3 over 5. So that means that we are dividing by another negative number so the final answer in this case would be x equals 6.30 and i would prefer that we round the answer to two decimal places when we solve exponential or log equations so <clears throat> i hope this made sense and i invite you to try the next example on your own so i'm going to do this um, almost silently because it is very similar to what we just did so in this case, we have two exponential terms, different bases. The bases cannot be converted to a common base. So since I only have two terms, I'm going to split them. I'm going to leave one on the left, take one on the uh, leave one on the left, and take the other uh, to the right side. Take the log of both sides, and that will bring us to x minus three, becoming now a coefficient log two equals x now will become a coefficient and then log 7. So expand so that we can bring x out. So x log 2 minus 3 log 2. So again, this is what we are doing, right? And that equals x log 7. So x is a variable, right, in both terms. So we're going to bring those terms that contain x to one side of the equation. And we'll take 3 log 2 on the other side. So it becomes positive 3 log 2 because uh, we are uh, it's already negative. So factor x out. And we have log 2 minus log 7 equals 3 log 2. Divide both sides by the coefficient 3 log 2 minus log 7. Three log 2 minus log 7. And what we're going to get is x equals 3 log 2. Now remember, 3 log 2 is going to be log 2 to the power of 3. And down here, we have log 2 to the power 3 divided by 7. So divided by 7 because of the subtraction. And 2 to the power of 3 is because 3 will come inside as a power of 2. So in a more simplified form, this would be log of 8 divided by log 8 over 7. So if we want to use the calculator to find the approximate answer, so that would be equal to log of 8 and then divided by log of 8 over 7. So it should be a positive number at the end. So that's 15.57. And that would be the approximate answer. So I hope that this made sense. And I hope that you enjoy solving log uh, and exponential equations. They're quite interesting. And sometimes they kind of uh, uh, intertwine with each, uh, uh, with each other. And that, well, that's what makes the uh, solutions more complex, but in the meantime, more um, fascinating. Let's put it that way. So you have a couple of questions that you can practice here for um, uh, classwork or homework, whichever that is. 
And uh, in some of the questions, I've added a few hints just so that uh, you have an idea of uh, how to approach them. Because as we said, each exponential equation may appear itself in uh, a special form. So thank you for learning with me. And I hope that you find the instructions useful. Bye for now.